Today gotta be my day. I mean, it's spicy season, so I'm having my way. Put a baby in you, you a hot mom? Let's not. I feel like we're zoomed in. Why is that when I just literally turned the camera on? But what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Welcome to a new vloggy vlog. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a weekend vlog yet or a day in the life vlog yet. But anyways, just know you're in for a good time, okay? Just know you're in for a good time with the Stush Life. So if you are new, I hope you decide to subscribe and join the girl gang. So my OG Triple SGs, thank you so much for coming back to see me, see my face to you know vibe with me for yet another video and before i forget make sure you like this video if you enjoy it of course and also follow me on instagram and on tiktok at the stush life so hi how we doing i mean i've really been killing the face these last two days three days three days killing the face but everyday makeup routine the only thing that i would say is this brow is a little bit thicker than this one but other than that the face is the face is sitting in my opinion the face is sitting but i'm heading down i'm headed downtown today i'm actually going to be in the soho area in the last vlog i don't know how the order of things are so far with the vlogs but i think that would be the last vlog i was in like the 14th street area of new york city i'm from new york city if you're new i'm a new york grilly through and through but today i'm gonna be in soho and then a little bit later on i'm gonna meet my best friend and we're gonna go for happy hour go you know link up for happy hour so today um i kind of want to check out a few things in the soho area i really like the soho area but sometimes it's just a little bit over congested for me so i prefer 14th street area chelsea area but i'm gonna go to soho today i think the vicinity that I'm going to in I, I think what I want to do in the vic, in the vicinity that I plan to be in is check out Atelier Jolie which is in the home of Basquiat is which is in Basquiat's home it's owned by Angelina Jolie and it's supposed to be like a upscale coffee coffee shop right and then I kind of want to look in Kif because I've never been to Kif Maybe I'll get ice cream. I don't know. It all depends. Maybe I'll grab a quick bite while I'm in Soho too. Nothing crazy because I know we're going to go out for happy hour. And there's the Chanel beauty store as well that I would like to pop into. And I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Maybe I'll even touch a gallery or two. Right now I'm just trying to decide if you're from New York City, so you kind of know. Maybe you don't if you're never really in this area. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Canal and then make my way to Soho area. Canal is like the Chinatown um because there's something else i want to do in chinatown but i'm like i really shouldn't be spending money on that right now so maybe another time so i don't know if i'm going to start in chinatown and check out the galleries there or if i'm just going to go to soho and find a gallery and like go to the other places that i mentioned in the vlog or that i mentioned earlier in the vlog um i don't know but either way I'm parked up. I'm waiting for my Metro North because if you are not new to the channel, you know I do not really ever drive to the city unless it's like a Sunday when parking is free. But now they've installed like congestion prices and stuff. So I'm not interested in that. A toll plus congestion fees? No, I'm not interested in that. So I almost always take the Metro North downtown. And it's just easier for me. I could park my car and walk wherever I need to go walk to. And that's the only time I will be walking. I don't be walking uptown. I need to drive uptown. But if I'm in Manhattan, I'm down for a walk. I think yesterday I did 10,000 steps. Today, let's see what we do. But um, I'm going to show you guys my outfit. And I want to make a quick what I'm wearing for TikTok. So let's step out and do that but i literally found one parking spot yesterday i did the same thing and there were no parking spots i had to leave the parking lot for the metro north and go and find a parking spot outside of the metro north parking lot so today someone literally was leaving the minute i pulled in and that was the only spot so let me go pay <clears throat> excuse me let me go pay being that it is a weekday and try to film this tiktok and then we'll be on our way downtown so yeah let's go and they're being ice like what no now you just ain't gonna tell me michael b jordan don't look mad good <laughs> on the billboard like i turned the corner i said wait a minute what do we have here Right, 
I don't know why my thing keeps zooming in, but I'm in Kif and it's real cute, but I thought they had women's stuff here, but apparently they said they had their own store. So I'm on another street, but I'm headed to Atelier Jolie now because I'm kind of hungry and I might want to have the song. I'm heading out to Atelier Jolie. I need to pay attention. What does say, bitch? Stop bitching and make art. Okay. But I need to pay attention because I've never been here before, so that's the only way I'm going to be able to identify where I'm at. So I've arrived. He says Jean Michael Basquiat. I think it's Jean Michael. From 1883 to 1988. Language that define characterization. So let's go inside. Let's see what it's about. I love the outside. I'm always here for the graphics and the New York vibes okay it's interesting will you free pal will you be will you free my Palestine amen no one is free until Palestine is free potatoes gonna hate potatoes gonna potato no, that's right. You know what raises my vibrations? Coming to a gallery and there's no one in here. Yes. Stumbled upon yet another. This whole block is like filled with galleries. Love this one. A lot of Asian artists. Oh, I love this wall. Wow. That's nice. And Chinatown is not too far, so it makes sense. How fire is this? A vinyl player. I heard the um the these types are not the best ones. I can't remember the name right now. Um these types are not the best ones. I love the backsplash of it. It's so cool. Popping into urban now. I just have to. I just have to. When this came out. This was my phone. Running through the city with my. And then we were so close to Buffalo. It just like made sense. I mean, to Canada, it just made sense because we were in Buffalo. So we all swear we knew Drake. It is what it is. I'm looking for the sale, y'all. I think I passed it. I think the skirt is kind of cute, y'all. It's not on the hanger properly, but I did think it's cute. But I don't need it. Okay, how cute. Oh, this color is really nice. So I can't tell when last I spoke to you guys, but I'm now walking to Atelier Chanel just to see what they have inside. But I went to a few galleries. I did get something at Urban. I'll share when I go home. It's nothing really exciting. Thing. <laughs> it's just socks but I did get two socks and um, they had a 40% off sale and the sale there was some stuff but I didn't really feel like trying nothing on because my pants are kind of tight I ain't gonna lie to y'all so 
Uh, I just skipped out on whatever was in there, but I'm headed to Chanel now. First of all, what? I love me a little mini anything, but the checkered bag, even this size is mad cute. Okay, coach. Say that. That is so cute. Cute. So I got something ordered at Coach and I'm so excited. Um, it's gonna be delivered to my house. So once it arrives, I'll share it in the vlog. But now we're finally headed to the Chanel Beauty Atelier, or Atelier Beauty Chanel, whatever it's called. Actually, there's a gallery. Let me go look inside. We've made it. So we're all done at Chanel. I'm about to get something. I'll show you guys when I get home. But when I say y'all must come here the minute y'all see this video if you live in, New live in New York, I'm gonna try to bring my mom here. I'm not gonna try, she's coming. And I'm coming next time with no makeup so I can get the full experience, but it's such a vibe. This is the bathroom, y'all, the powder room. Real cute. And there's like no one in here. I'll check in with you guys once we get there. Oh, that's the Myron Meco store. And I feel like there's like a little bit of misting happening right now and I don't love that. But I did get something at Chanel. Today gotta be my day. I mean, it's Pisces season, so I'm having my way from February 20, um, 19th to March 20th, period. Okay? Just made it to Lady Blue. Just made it to Lady Blue. I don't know why this is so zoomed in. Hold on. But I'm about to, but not raindrops <laughs> falling on my head nah this is why <laughs> i'm just waiting for my best friend so let's head inside cheers, cheers. 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 
Your birthday is loading, girl. Oh. So what? <laughs> Got some wings, salmon bones. <laughs> Not the kiss. Maybe kind of shaking me at kiss. It smells good. We hungry and I'm low key filled. Y'all low key filled. Everybody told you I got the <laughs> Yes, I heard my you left your. Did you get it back? We didn't even talk about that. <laughs> We're gonna go try to go to another spot. We got like 20 minutes, so we're gonna try to catch another happy hour. It's honestly not even morning. Why am I lying to y'all? Why am I lying to y'all? It's 2.10. I had to think about it because it feels like morning for me because I just woke, like really got up out the bed and got something to eat. I look crazy. Don't mind that. But today is February 23rd. It's my cancerversary. So technically the day that I got diagnosed with cancer 17 years ago, your girl is 17 years um, in remission. No, not 17 years in remission, but but it's been 17 years since i was diagnosed i gotta figure out when um how many years remission i'm in i want to say maybe like 15. but i'm very happy but i also got my period yesterday so typically on the first day of my period if i'm already out and about i don't really get cramps like that and i was out and about y'all saw us we were out and about yesterday so i didn't really have cramps and it came later on the night today 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 oi i was struggling again it's 210 so that just kind of lets you guys know where i've been prior there's a helicopter for some reason circling outside i apologize for that i'm drinking some poppy and i literally took advil i never take advil or any painkillers whenever i have cramps because i just try to naturally grace through the process but girl i said not today the devil is a lie not today no i need to be feeling good so i realistically i would have liked to like go out that's what i thought i was gonna do but i think i'm just gonna chill i was gonna go out and probably like go to a coffee shop maybe like local coffee shop and maybe like get myself some flowers i probably will still get some flowers at some point this weekend but i'm supposed to be going out later on tonight um or later on in the evening to meet with a friend excuse me so i'm just gonna chill and do my work because as much as i want to avoid all responsibilities i've been doing that literally this whole week that i've been off so i really need to get to work now because things are going to be due in a couple of days so i'm just going to stay in and read a lot for school and then later on i'll go out i don't even know if i'm gonna get cute but i am gonna start a new vlog so y'all will see that in another vlog but i do want to show you guys what i got yesterday my urban outfitters bag um and i'll show y'all what i picked up so i literally got these two socks why are these looking like this oh this was the one that i think was falling apart right yeah so i got these happy socks i don't know if y'all can really see they're like a uh, silver sparkly pair of socks i feel like you can see it more here with the poof frilly no not frilly poof detail and i also got these these are also silver but they're like a dark so a uh, dark uh a darker gray not even silver a darker gray with the pink poof at the bottom of the sock or at the top of the sock so i got both of these i want to say 11 for 11 dollars it's mar it was marked originally at 16 usd but they were on sale for nine and then urban uh outfitters had a 40 percent off sale so i paid like got basically like two for one so that worked out and then I got something at Chanel y'all. I got something at Chanel. We got something at Chanel. It was in this bag. When I tell y'all yesterday it took we took the long route to come home because I basically missed the we basically missed the Metro North. So we just took the local train uptown and then um, my best friend dropped me to my 
uh, car because it was like a little ways. Not really a little ways. I could have walked it, but child, I didn't really feel like doing the walk. Last night, I literally grabbed the stuff from my bag, got in, threw it, everything down, and I thought about picking the vlog back up. And then when I was looking for the camera, I could not find a camera, child. So I wasn't really in a state of panic because I just figured I left it with my best friend. But she texted me saying that she didn't have the camera this morning. So I literally was like, the only other place it could be is in the car. Why well, I went out to the car. Where is the camera? Where were you sitting? Where were you sitting? You were sitting in the passenger. Why you ain't tell me we, we why you ain't tell me we were leaving you? Why you didn't tell me that we were leaving you in a car? So you slept in a car. I'm so sorry because I know it must have been cold because it was cold when I picked you up. But we're good. So that's why I'm basically that's why I'm showing y'all this haul now because yesterday y'all was in a car y'all slept in a car so i did get something while I, I did get something in chanel i wanted this lip gloss that i tried on but they didn't have the color in stock so literally right before i was leaving i was just like do you guys happen to have any of the colorful mirrors the chanel double sided mirror i don't know if y'all remember when i was in miami and i checked out the chanel store and I told y'all they didn't have them. They didn't have any. And online they were like all sold out. Because once they dropped the girls ran to the website. So I wasn't able to get my hands on a mirror. I went to two Chanel's in Miami and I couldn't find it. I went to the one in Brickell and the one in the, in the design district. And I couldn't find the mirror. And I was at uh, Atelier Beauty Chanel yesterday. Right before I was leaving I was like you guys happen to have any of the mirrors? She was like actually I think we had one that came in. It's crazy because we would get them and they would sell out right away. And there was a time we didn't get them at all because I think, you know, the demand was so high for them. But she was like, literally one just came in a few days ago. Just one. I was like, oh, by any chance, like, I'd love to see it. She was like, yeah, I don't know what color it is, but let's go check. When I tell y'all, she opened it. And I was like, yeah, um, you could go ahead and bring that to the front. <laughs> I swear everything was working out for me yesterday. I also ordered, got something from Coach. I'll show you guys that when it comes. But everything was working out in my favor yesterday. I promise y'all. But that's what I got a Chanel. So let's go ahead and open her up. The Chanel Double Mirror in 143 Diva Limited Edition. Limited Edition. When I, when I, I was just like. What are the odds? I literally just happened to ask because they don't have, they didn't have any of like these mirrors out. There are some things that just weren't out, but if it's Chanel Beauty, they probably had it in the back for you to purchase. But like the mirror wasn't out. Um, what else was not? There was something else that, there were a few other things that just weren't out. But pretty much all their beauty products are there. Uh, yeah, I saw us try, test, and stuff. Um, so this mirror was not, I just happened to ask. I was like, I wonder if y'all have the mirrors. And she was like, yeah, there was just there was just one here. So it comes in this little sleeve. And then, let me see if I can do this on the shoulder. Am I that skilled? Oh my, when she said diva, I already knew, not me struggling, I already knew what color it was. How gorge. My paw prints are already over it because I've already, you know, touched it and played with it and, you know, admired it. <laughs> but my paw prints all are all over it. But I was like, how? There's no way. There was no way I was leaving this. Absolutely no way I was leaving this. So, let me open her up. One hand again. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Double mirror. So, it has a magnified side and, you know, regular side. So, I did get that, but is that serious right now? Is that serious right now? I don't know if y'all remember, that means that we have two of them. I already have one of these. I bought this sometime last year as like a just a treat for myself. And I ordered it online and it came in. But when I tell you I have not used the mirror. So now I have to really put it to use. Because I feel like I want the pink one to be like one that I pull out when I feel like it. Or like on a good day. But my OG mirror. This one right here. I, I, she's just be collecting dust. So I'm going to actually put her in probably like my. Um, one of my designer bags. So I could just always have it in there to use. Because she just again be collecting dust. Same setup, same setup, it's just black. Yeah, 
they're the same size same size logo so that is all i got at chanel why do i feel like we zoomed in we're not okay i'm looking that's all i got at chanel and then y'all yeah, saw so i went out with my best friend we went for happy hour and we were bouncing honey we went to three different spots so shout outs to us we first started at lady blue it was cute little bar or a cute little restaurant i didn't eat anything except for what you guys saw me have that uh baklava and the latte at atelier jolie so i did order wings the wings were right um she ordered a salmon bowl we got lemon drops because they were eight dollars they were good they were definitely good i tell you that they were pre-made but they were strong and then we went to jasmine's because it was like literally down the block i've always wanted to go to jasmine's caribbean um restaurant i ordered uh like a uh, I forgot what type of drink it was, but it was some cocktail made with, I think, champagne or Prosecco, one of the two. I ordered that. That was good as well. And then I ordered the codfish bites, which is really like sawfish fritters, if you know, you know. Those came very fast. Like, when they came, I was like, oh, I turned my head and they were there. So, I don't know if they were sitting, but they s tasted like they were just, like, sitting in oil. Like, they fried them and they were just, like, in the fryer still in the oil so i sent it back because i was just like these don't taste fresh so i would like to return and get like the full experience of jasmine's maybe not so late in the day maybe like early when i could really taste the food fresh because i've heard people say it's a good spot but the drinks were good they did give us another round of drinks on the house because when we initially got there it was kind of busy and the bartender i guess felt like he was neglecting us so i appreciated that um so we got two round of drinks there and then we went to a more local because we saw that they had all day happy hour on tiktok but that video was old so i wasn't sure if it was true so when we got there they told us they did have happy hour but it was not all day anymore so we missed happy hour because we got there after 8 and happy hour ended at 8. But we just got some margaritas. Yesterday was margarita day. They didn't have any promotions going on for margarita day even though it was a Mexican restaurant. So I don't know if they even knew. But that's where we ended the night. So we had four drinks before heading uptown. But yesterday was a really good day. I'm not going to lie. Yesterday kind of I will say was my today day if that makes sense. Like today's going to be more chill and I'm fine with that. Um, I did a lot this week in regards to like bouncing around, going, checking out new places that I wanted to check out in this vlog and in the last vlog. So I hope you guys had fun, you know, exploring the city with me. And I think I'm going to do a whole weekend vlog. I don't know where I'll end up, where we'll end up this weekend, but it's my last few days before I'm back to work and I'll still have school. I've had school this whole week. Like I, I'm still, we're not on break from school, but I've just been, been acting like that. But now... Well, after Sunday, I got to get back to work for real, for real. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this vlog, unfortunately. But I had such a great time with y'all in this vlog. Like, we did so much. And I have TikToks to edit. Literally, I think this is the fifth YouTube video that I've recorded since I've... No, nope, fourth YouTube video. I have an extra one that I recorded prior to this break starting. This is the fourth YouTube video that I've filmed since being off okay so bear with me as we edit and upload some of this might go up a little later some things might have already passed but content okay i'm here to bring y'all i'm bring out what you deserve and what you desire okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did if you made it all the way to the end comments with a ribbon because it's actually the yellow ribbon a emoji because it's again my cancer anniversary so comment with the ribbon show some love um yeah i'm just happy i'm grateful and blessed i'm humbled to say the least um humbled to say the least but i hope you guys enjoyed again comment with the ribbon leave a thumbs up share this video with one of your friends that you think would enjoy my content if you made it all to the way to the end and you're not already part of girl gang i hope you subscribe follow me on instagram and on tiktok for more vibes off of youtube so yeah, love y'all. Thank you guys again for watching.